Okay, welcome back to Metal Bend's Chronicles. You know what? This is a different kind of video, actually. This is more or less a discussion video, a thoughts type of video, I guess. Because what we're going to be talking about, okay. In fact, I believe it's coming out in the next week or two. The 20th anniversary of Clayman by In Flames. Now, In Flames, you know, are pioneers of melodic death metal. You know, they've been around since 1993. There's no original members left in In Flames. You know, because In Flames was started by Jesper Stromblad as a kind of like a session project, I guess you could say, or, you know, a side project. Because on the first couple In Flames albums, you know, being Lunar Strain and Subterranean, the EP, they had session, music session musicians on those albums. Excuse me there. Um, anyway, so, yeah. So In Flames basically started out being a melodic death metal band. You know, after Clayman, they basically morphed into an alternative metal band which has caused much division within the Inflames camp when it comes to the fan base, you know. But we're not going to talk about all that. Basically, I'm just going to give my thoughts on the re-recordings of the four tracks from Clayman, you know. And I still have my original copy of Clayman from 2000, you know trying to get that glare out of there. Yeah, man, this was this was the very first In Flames album I ever bought. From reading a old Metal Maniac magazine where um, they were talking about the up-and-coming album of Clayman, the band In Flames. I believe there was an interview with Jesper Strumblad in that magazine. Actually, I think I still actually have the magazine. But yeah, that was way back 20 years ago, so I went out and bought it. And I was intrigued by In Flames when I first saw them to begin with. First time I actually heard of In Flames was back in 1997 with Horacle. You know. So yeah, I kind of knew who In Flames were. I didn't know much of their music. I might have heard like a few songs here and there. You know, before I went out and bought Clayman. You know, I remember when Colony came out, because that was a big deal, because Colony came out only like eight or nine months earlier. The Clayman just came right out, you know, back in 2000. So yeah, anyways, a little bit of back history with me and In Flames there. Um, let's just get to the re-recordings here. So track-wise, you get, you know, you get re-recordings of Pinball Map. Bullet Ride, Clayman, and Only for the Week. Thank God it's only those four tracks and not the whole entire album like I thought it was going to be at first. But thank goodness it's not. It's only a re-release of Clayman, you know, for the 20th anniversary and a re-recording of those four tracks. Okay, let's get down to it. So, as you all know, or anybody that knows In Flames knows that Frederick Nordstrom, Frederick Nordstrom, famous legendary Swedish producer, produced all the early In Flames albums up to Clayman, from Lunar Strain all the way up to Clayman. He produced all those. And the production's phenomenal on those old albums. I think it's some of the best production, to be honest with you, to come out of the late 90s going into the early 2000s. There's just something about it. It has a really huge sound to it. You know, the guitars are very heavy sounding, but, but also very crisp sounding, you know. And, yeah, man, there's just a really good drum sound, too, on those old recordings. So, yeah, it's got a very good atmosphere to it. But now, on these four re-recordings, 
We get Howard Benson to produce them, who produced the last two in Flames albums, which were Battles and I the Mask. Which, you know, I'm not a fan of Moderate and Flames at all, but those albums did have really good productions. <clears throat> but these re recordings have terrible production. First off, the guitars sound way too thin. The drums are mixed way too loud. In some spots, it sounds over compressed. And uh, vocal wise, you can just tell Anders really is not into singing those old melodic death metal tracks anymore. And it definitely shows because ever since Reroute to Remain, you know, they haven't gone back to more of a melodic death metal style in their writing. You know, yeah, you still get the harmony guitar parts. But besides that, you know, to me, when it comes to Inflames, there's something missing. And on these re-recordings, there's definitely a lot missing. First off, that Frederick Nordstrom production's definitely missing. I get it's 2020 and not 2000. Inflames moved on. They're no longer that melodic death metal band. I get that. And to me, the biggest key player that's really missing on these re-recordings is original founding member, Jesper Strumblad. That's what's missing. To me, besides that, these re-recordings just sound like a cover band or a In Flames tribute band. And like I said, you can just tell Anders Fridden, the vocalist, is not into this style of metal no more. You know, which is unfortunate, but you know what it you know what inflames can do what they want. If they want to keep going in this direction, fine. You know. And if people like it, fine. It it doesn't bother me at all. I mean I'm just giving my opinions on this, you know. I don't enjoy these re recordings. They just sound very dry. The drums sound way too loud, like I said. The guitars sound way too thin. And yeah, Jesper Strumblad, the original member, is definitely the missing key in all this because he was a part of all those early In Flames albums. You know, back when In Flames was just a session band and had session musicians on Lunar Strain and Subterranean, you know. But that's my honest opinion about the re-recordings of Pinball Map, Bullet Ride, Only For The Week, and Clayman, and I do not like the synth intro that was added onto Clayman. That's the thing, you'd notice different things were added to these to make it sound like modern In Flames, and yes, the production on these makes In Flames sound more like a hard rock Radio, red, radio Ready Metal Band as opposed to the original Clayman recordings. Don't really know what else to say. If you enjoy it, hey, more power to you. Me, being an old school fan, I don't enjoy it. You know, and that's my opinions. Keep it metal. Thank mm -hmm. you.